Hello all and welcome back. There are times when you want to share your important data as a hard copy. It could be an invoice or your weekly stats for those dreaded Monday reviews. Whatever the case is, what you have to first do is you have to do a proper page setup so that everything fits nicely into a page or pages as required. So I've decided that I will be talking about page setup and printing. In fact, this topic is so vast, I've decided to break it up into three videos, some 20 odd minutes each. And in these videos, I'll be talking to you about every aspect of page setup and printing. So let's begin. When you share your important data as a hard copy, you do not want to cause a bad impression because your data doesn't fit nicely in a page or pages or is not presentable because of incorrect page setup. So knowing how to set up your page and how to print your files is therefore very important. Here, I've got a couple of worksheets. I will use these worksheets for demonstration purpose. This workbook is available for download. The link is in the description below. I would recommend pausing this video for a moment and then downloading that file so that you can work along while watching this video. Let's begin with understanding how page setup works. There are several operations involved under page setup. For example, setting margins to top, bottom, left and right, choosing the correct orientation, choosing the correct paper size, setting print area, page breaks, etc, etc. Later in this video, we will also see how we can work with header or footer fields. To tweak these different settings, we will use the page setup property of the page setup object. The page setup object contains all page setup attributes, for example, left margin, bottom margin, paper size, and so on. There are in all 48 properties. The page setup property can either be used with worksheets or with chart objects. Let's try and cover some of the most commonly used page setup properties. Before we go ahead, let me show you visually what all you have at your disposal when you want to perform a page setup. Click on the page layout tab. You can see your page setup options under the page setup group. The first one is margins. Then you have orientation which sets your data in portrait or landscape mode. Then we have the size where you can specify the kind of pages where you want to print. Then you have the print area and page breaks. You can also insert backgrounds and choose which rows or columns to repeat while printing. We will cover all of these. In fact, if you click on this icon, which is also called a dialog box launcher, you will be presented with a page setup dialog box, which covers all the settings except this. Let's click on it. Let's understand what each of these are for and how to tweak them from VBA. Before we go ahead, let me explain a very basic concept. When you print, Excel prints everything that is there in the print area. In a Microsoft Excel worksheet, the print area is a designated part of the worksheet to be printed. We will understand more about print areas later when we discuss the sheet tab. We can basically tweak the print area to print the data as we want them. Let's start off with the first tab, which is the page tab. And in this page tab, the first section is orientation. Let's cancel this for a moment. Now, this data would print better in a landscape orientation. Currently, it is in portrait mode. If we click on file, and then if we click on print, on the right, we can see the preview on how our data looks like. Out of 11 columns, only 5 are visible. If I change the orientation to landscape, then see what happens. I'm going to currently change it manually. Later on, we will learn how to do this via code. So I'm going to change this to landscape. See how more columns are now included in this print preview. Let's change it back to portrait again so that we can tweak this from VBA. Let's go back. We will launch the Visual Basic Editor by pressing the shortcut key Alt F11. If you're not sure what Visual Basic Editor is, then I recommend watching the video Visual Basic Editor and Introduction. Here I have code in few modules which we will use to work with page setup and printing in detail. 
Let's open the first module. You can either double click on it or you can right click on it and click on view code. Here I have a procedure called set orientation. Here I have declared a worksheet variable and I'm setting it to sheet one, which is the sales data worksheet. Now changing orientation is very simple. Simply use the page setup dot orientation property. This property returns or sets an Excel page orientation value that represents the portrait or landscape printing mode. You can supply any of the two Excel page orientation values, which is Excel landscape or Excel portrait to set the page orientation. Here I'm setting the page orientation to landscape. If you remember, I had set it to portrait. Now let's run this and see if it makes any difference. To run this code, click on the run sub user form button or simply press the shortcut key F5. Let's go to the worksheet and then click on file, print to see the print preview. The orientation see how it has now changed to landscape. When your data has less columns and more rows, then you can change Excel landscape to Excel portrait. For example, if you look at this sheet, which is titled rows demo data, this data would fit well in a portrait mode. Let's go back. The next property that we will cover is scaling. But before that, let me share how to invoke print preview via code so that we do not have to click on file print to see the print preview again and again. Let's briefly go to the next module and then we will come back here. To invoke the print preview, you can use the sheets.printPreview method. This method shows a preview of the object as it would look when printed. The syntax is expression.printPreview enable changes. Expression is a variable that represents a sheets object. Enable changes is an optional parameter. You can pass a Boolean value to specify if the users can change the margins and other page setup options available in the print preview. The default setting is true. Here I've declared my worksheet variable and I have set it to sheet one. Here I'm invoking the print preview. Let's run this. And you can see that the print preview is now shown to you. Like I mentioned, the default value of enable changes is true and hence you are able to see these options which let the user change the margins and other page setup options available in print preview. If I change the enable changes to false and if I run it again then you will notice that these options are no longer available. Let's test it. See these options are now disabled. Let's close this. Now let's use the sheets.printPreview method in module one. So I'm going to copy ws.printPreview from here and then I will paste it right here. And let's do one more thing. Let's change the orientation to portrait. Okay, and now let's run this. Say the orientation has been changed to portrait and we are shown a print preview. Let's change it back to landscape. I'm going to press Ctrl Z and I'm going to run it again. And now the orientation has been changed to landscape and then the print preview is shown. Let's move on to the next property, which is scaling. Here, this is scaling section. Scaling is required when your worksheet has a lot of data. You can use the scaling options to reduce the size of the worksheet to better fit the printed page. The first option we have is adjust to percentage of the normal size. You can use the page setup dot zoom property to achieve this. This property returns or sets a variant value that represents a percentage between 10 and 400% by which Microsoft Excel will scale the worksheet for printing. Let's go back to the VBA code. Here I have a procedure called scaling options. Currently the zoom is set to 100% which is the default value. Now let's change this to 70 and let's see what happens. So I'm going to run this and see how everything is now 
reduced to 70% of the original size. So if I go back and if I change it to 100%, then you can see the comparison. See, depending on the data that you have, you may or you may not have to experiment with the zoom property. The second option that we have in scaling is fit to pages. Here you can set two values, fit to pages wide and fit to pages tall. You can tweak these using the page setup dot fit to pages wide and page setup dot fit to pages tall properties. The page setup dot fit to pages wide property returns or sets the number of pages wide that the worksheet will be scaled to when it is printed and the page setup dot fit to pages tall property returns or sets the number of pages tall that the worksheet will be scaled to when it's printed. Let's go back. Let's uncomment the code below and let's comment this part of the code. So I'm going to comment this and I'm going to uncomment this. Before we go ahead, one thing that I would like to mention is that if you specify a zoom value and also the fit to pages wide and fit to pages tall value, the zoom takes precedence over fit to pages tall and fit to pages wide. So use only one of them. And if you need to use both of them, then ensure you have dot zoom is equal to false before setting the fit to pages wide and fit to pages tall values. So here we are setting fit to pages tall as one and fit to pages wide as one. But since we have already set it as zoom here, what we are going to do is we'll have to set it as false. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here and then I'll say false. Let's run this. See how the data has fit into one page wide by one page tall. Again, depending upon the data that you have, you may have to experiment with this to get the right setting. Let's go back. I want to show you one more thing. Let's go to page setup and let's click on this. See how this setting was tweaked from VBA. Earlier it was adjust to normal size and now it's fit to one by one. Moving on to the next section, which is paper size. Currently the paper size is A4. If you want to, let's say, print it to letter or any other paper size, then you can do it from here. But if you want to do it from VBA, how will you do that? To change the paper size from VBA, use the page setup dot page size property. This property returns or sets the size of the paper. You can use any of the Excel paper size enumeration constants as shown in the image. I've also put up this list of constants in the last sheet, which is control codes. I'm just going to cancel this for a moment. This is control codes. And on the right side, we have the Excel paper size enumeration. So you can experiment with these constant values. Okay, let's go back. Below the paper size, we have the print quality. Depending on where you're trying to print, you can see different options here. For example, if I click on this right now, I can see 600 DPI. Let's understand this better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this for a moment. Let's click on file, print. Currently we are printing to Microsoft print to PDF. Let's change that to fax. Now let's go back to page setup. You can also go to page setup by clicking on this page setup link. If you click on this, you'll see you've got two options, 200 DPI and 200 and 200 DPI. Similarly, if you change this to Canon or any other printer, then it will change again. This time I have high, medium, low draft, etc, etc. So remember, depending upon the kind of printer that you have, the options of print quality will keep on changing. I'm going to change it back to PDF. Let's go back to the page setup. So to tweak this print quality, you can use the page setup dot print quality property. This property returns or sets the print quality. The syntax is expression dot print quality index where expression is a variable that represents a page setup object. Index is the horizontal print quality or vertical print quality. 
Some printers may not support vertical print quality. If you do not specify this argument, the print quality property returns or can be set to a two element array that contains both horizontal and vertical print quality. Let's tweak these two properties using VBA. Let's go back to the Visual Basic Editor. Before I go ahead and I tweak the print quality, I'm going to reset the scaling options. So I'm going to first comment this and I'm going to uncomment this and I'm going to run this again so that I get my 100% scaling back. Perfect. Now let's check the paper size and print quality. Let's go back to the page setup for a moment. Now the print quality, the options that I have is 600 DPI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set 600 via code. So I'm going to type 600. Now let's run this. If you go back to page setup, it's now set to 600 DPI. So if you remember when I set the printer as fax, there were two options available, 200 and 200 by 100. So let's do that. I'm going to change the printer first to fax and then let's go back and let's check out the page layout. The option that I have is 200 and 200 by 100. So let's go back to the code and let's change this to 200. Now if I run this and if I go back to page layout, page setup, you'll see that it is 200. What if I wanted to select 200 by 100? In that case, I will have to use an array. So let's delete this part. And in array, I'm setting 200 by 100. Let's run this. If you go to page setup again, you will notice that it is now 200 by 100 DPI. So this is how you can tweak the print quality. I'm going to go back and change the printer to PDF. and I'm going to change this back to 600. Let's run this. Let's reconfirm if the changes have been made. Yes, perfect. Now moving on to the last section in this page, which is first page number. Here you can specify the first page number that will be used when the sheet is printed. In VBA, you can tweak this using the page setup dot first page number property. This property returns or sets the first page number that will be used when the sheet is printed. The default value is Excel automatic, which is auto. This means that Microsoft Excel chooses the first page number. But if you want to tweak this from VBA, you can do that. And let's see how we can do that. We can use page setup dot first page number property. I have set it to two. This means that Microsoft Excel will choose the second page number as the first page number. Obviously, we can't test this in print preview, but you can see this in action when you actually print the worksheet. Time for a quick recap. In this video, we learned about page orientation, page scaling, page size, print quality, and different aspects of page setup. I hope it was easy to understand, but if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can also email me on support at tamexcel.com. I also have a Facebook page. The link is in the description below. Feel free to join that. And if you have any questions, you can post them there as well. I'll be more than happy to answer your queries. If you like the kind of content that I'm posting in this channel and you would like to extend support, then go ahead, watch a couple of videos, drop a couple of likes. And uh, if you're really serious about learning Visual Basic programming from scratch, then specifically see the playlist because there I have arranged the videos in a specific sequence. So watch those videos, drop a couple of likes there as well. And if you still have not subscribed to this channel, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon. And I'll see you next week when I come up with the second part of this video, which is page setup and printing in Microsoft Excel VBA.